What's good, everybody? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Jay, repping Deva A, born raised on the streets of 4K. How is everybody doing? I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time, chilling. And I just came up with another vid for my people. What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good? All right, enough being said. So today's topic is how to manage your money. Tips, I got five tips and one trick that's going to revolutionize your money management skill. So enough being said, let's just go to the points, all right? So number one is have a monthly budget. So what I mean having a monthly budget is you're supposed to know your source of income and you're supposed to know your fixed and variable expenses. So your source of income, it could be from your job, it could be from your side hustle, uh, it could be from your hobby, uh, from things that you're passionate about, but whatever it is, it's bringing money. So that's what I mean by source of income. Now, fixed expense is like every month that you're supposed to pay. It could be your bills, like light bills, uh, you know, food, rent. All these things are fixed expenses. So you're supposed to know them. All these things I'll show you at the end that you know how you can organize these things. It's okay. Don't stress. And then variable expenses. Variable expenses are expenses that fluctuate within you know it fluctuates from month to month so have a monthly budget that's number one okay now number two is keep track of smaller expense now these smaller expense are more like your daily expense so you know like things that you spend and daily daily things you spend daily it could be coffee you know uh you know sweets uh newspaper like things that you magazines that you read so things that you spend on your mobile phone you know all these things are daily expenses so keep tracks of your keep tracks of your smaller expense or your daily expense that's what i'm talking about number three have a saving account it is very important to have a saving account actually like a saving account what i mean by saving account you're supposed to when you're in a bank okay so when you your bank account you're supposed to have a saving account and i'm to be honest, you cannot have only one account in like your support saving account is one of it, but there are also other accounts that you're supposed to have. So having one bank account is not OK. So one of the accounts that you're supposed to have is a saving account. So saving account is I'll explain it in the last, but it is savings are not what, you know, most people. Let me tell you what most people do is they have their income, they have their expense, so their income minus their expense is equal to their saving which is completely wrong what it's supposed to be is your income minus your saving is equal to your expenses so always have a saving before any expenses so when you get that cash when you get paid always cut out your saving put it in your saving account and the rest can be your expenses so always have a saving account that's what i was trying to say number four is have an emergency fund now, this is another account that you're supposed to have. So an emergency fund is for maintenance. For example, when I mean maintenance is maybe your car broke down. There is maintenance for that. Uh, let's say, you know, your mobile, your, your phone got broken, like by a screen got broken. That is also one expense uh, for healthcare. You know, you, you're not feeling well. So you had to go to the hospital or you had to go to the clinic just to get checked up or something. That's another expense uh, for family members. For example, you know, your mom wants a loan or like something happened to your family. So, you know, you're giving money, giving them a loan or you're just spending money on your family. That is also an emergency fund. So always have an emergency fund. So your saving account, then there's the emergency fund. So you're supposed to have a saving account and an emergency fund. These are two accounts that bank accounts that you're supposed to have already. OK, now, number five is invest your money to make more money now this is very important so you could not just be spending money and you know just say i have a saving some some amount of your money is supposed to make more money for you so it means you're supposed to invest it either you're investing it on yourself or you're investing on your business or you're investing on your side hustle or like you're buying a share you know that is also an investment you're investing in this company and over a long period of time it will bring money for you so these are the five tips that you're supposed to have so number five is invest your money to make more money all right cool 
Now let's go to the one trick. Now this is a very important trick. This is the money management trick, okay? As you can see here, there's the, your gross income minus tax equals to your net income. So we're starting from your net income tax. That's what the government takes, especially if you're employed, you're working, you got to pay tax, okay? So your net income. So the first thing that you do from your net income, you take 10% and put it on your saving accounts. This is important. No matter what, the first thing is 10% goes to your saving account, okay? And then from your net income, 50% goes to the fixed expenditure. This is things that you spend, okay? That is 30% is for rent. Now, why did I say 30% is if if you're not living with your parents and if you're renting in your own, if your rent is more than 30% of your net income, you, you better, I'm just saying, go back to your parents, okay? It cannot exceed 30% of your net income. If it does, that rent is taking money from you, trust me, okay? So 30% is for your rent income. And then 20%, that's from the 50%, is probably for bills, light bills, things that you pay, and for food, okay? So 50% of your net income goes to fixed expenditure. All right, cool. Number three, your 15%, another 15% of your net income, this is where you invest in yourself, this is where you invest in your business, and this is where you invest in your emergency. So you can split this into three, okay? That is like, you know, 15%, so it's like, you know, just divide 15% by three and invest in yourself invest in your business and then keep something to the side in case of emergency okay this is the good part this like for example your emergency emergency doesn't happen every time if i'm if you know what i mean okay so when that money you know comes to some amount of like you know adds up to some amount of money you can take it to your business or you can invest in yourself so when i mean investing in yourself it could be you know you like you could buy yourself a cloth uh you know try new fashions you know just adding value to yourself, investing on yourself. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Now, another 15% is your viable expense, which means it could be your daily expense or there's money in your pocket. So 15% is the money that you actually have in cash, okay? Out of your net income because the rest are being are going out. For example, you know, 10% is going on to saving 50% is a fixed expenditure, 15%, the other 15% is you're investing in yourself, your business, in case of emergency, all these things. So 15% of your net income is actually that money that stays in your pocket. You dig? So that's what it is. And then another 10% of your net income goes for development expense. That is for adding value for yourself. So you want to, you know, how do I put it? Okay, you could be like, uh working on your hobbies uh things that you want to buy for example if you're a musician you want to buy a mic uh you want to buy a sound card I'm, I'm just relating it to myself if you're like an artist you know you want to buy paint all these things so this is on your self-development so this that is 10 percent of your net income and then we all know we want to have fun so 10 percent of your net income goes to having fun so that is your fun expenses so take this, take this math, okay? Calculate it. It is like the best thing that could ever happen to you. Trust me. You're like, you're saving money. Now, by the way, this saving, that 10% of your saving, you're not supposed to spend it at all, okay? You're, this is like a long run, maybe like 10 to five years from now, you can take out that saving and like spend it on something else. But it will help. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So this is what it is. This is the money management trick. That I've been using it's it's wonderful it's, it's doing wonders and I'm, I bet that you're gonna love this so this is what it is and this is J records so please make sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell if you're new and leave a comment below you know tell me if this was helpful tell me if it was not tell me if this was whack which is not whack trust me it's not whack it will help you a lot and that's all it is what it is I love you guys. Till then, stay up and I respect all my subscribers, all the views. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.